Welcome to Independent Lens. I'm Terrence Howard, your host. The largest migration in human history is happening right now. It's not the U.S. or Latin America or even Africa. It's taking place inside China. Tens of millions of rural Chinese people are migrating to the big city in search of work. 16-year-old Jasmine is one of them. And like millions of other girls, she finds work in a garment factory. Now, what is especially powerful about independent producer Mika X Pellet's intrepid look behind this denim curtain is that everyone is held accountable. The factory owner who exploits the people desperate for work, the apparel company that demands cheap clothes, and the consumer who buys them. It reveals a face of globalization you have never seen before and shines a disturbing light on the real cost of your new pair of blue jeans. China Blue, next on Independent Lens. I'm Jenny. I'm the sales manager. At Louis Vuitton, we are happy to make the jeans for the whole world. We never miss a deadline, even if it means our workers keep working all night. Australia, Britain, France, USA, and South America. Tell 上市的安排啦 When I was born, my father wanted to call me Red Spring. My mother said it is an old-fashioned name, so they call me Jasmine. My family raises ducklings, goats, and rabbits. We have rice terraces, and we also grow wheat, sorghum, and corn. I always thought I would live there forever, like my parents and grandparents. But ever since my older sister started high school, I knew I should go out to work. The day before I left, Dad gave me a hundred yuan and told me to be careful how I spend my money. I will never forget the day I left home. The fog was real thick. Mom was going to walk me to town, but Dad said there was too much to do. We need to plant winter wheat. After I left our valley, I was surrounded by so many strangers, it was scary. 
but I knew many of my classmates had left for jobs, so I was excited. On TV, they say China has stepped into the new era. There are opportunities awaiting all of us. I've never been on a train before. I didn't know you could fall asleep while moving. The trip took two days and two nights, and suddenly we were there. My life changed along with China. Twenty years ago, I rode a bicycle to work. Now I drive a small car. Farm boys like me could move up after the economic reforms that Deng Xiaoping initiated. My first job, my first job was on a collected farm, herding cattle and working the fields. I had to quit middle school to go to work. I started work when I was 15. I got an ID showing me to be one year older than I really was. I was a child laborer. The law says she must be 16 to work. I bought books and study on my own. I worked my way up step by step. Later, I joined the police force. I became the chief of police of this town, Shaxi. Three years ago, I quit the police and started my own jeans factory. Business is good, though there are dozens of denim factories here in Shaxi. I check this when I start my day. I can see the operation of the entire factory. The security cameras are recording 24 hours a day. If something is wrong, I can look into it. I can see that the workers are arriving on time and punching their cards. This is what's going on at 8 a.m. My roommate Jay says if we don't clock in on time, they find us for each minute we're late. There is a little box that lets them know. They put me in the packaging department where we prepare the jeans for shipping. Mm. 
My parents went through much trouble to have a second child. You are only supposed to have one. I'm sure they were disappointed when I came our girl too. But now I can help my family. Foreigners have a very poor understanding of China. Their slanted media portrays China as a totalitarian, frightening country, like we are still in Marco Polo time. We are now a democratic society. Workers have rights. Before, as boss, I had all the power. Now we all sit down at the same table. We are equals. There are two styles of management, iron fist and relaxed style. I prefer relaxed, but you cannot let the workers get out of control. They are uneducated, low caliber. These farmers are 20 years behind. You cannot teach them work ethics. It's beyond them. We must be fast and can miss any of the little threats. It takes 30 minutes to do one pair of jeans. I need to brush the lint from the inside and out. I need to look in old pockets for pebbles. In one hour, I can make about half a yen. They come from other parts of the country and live in here. Uh, yes, they, they, they come from out of the province. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they can go back to their place to eat. How can they? Do you want to go to Canada and eat? Try. No, but it's convenient try, for them. Try. Why not? <laughs> They're happy to get it. They're happy. Because they work on pieces, you know, so they make more money. Yeah, so they're happy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's good for them. Yeah, right. Uh, 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 We're beginning to uh, tackle the North American, Canada, and U.S. market in the second mm. half of uh, yeah. 203. We're, mm. we're only beginning. Yes. We're very impressed with what we see. and. We hope it will lead to a lot more trade and be between ourselves. So, again, thank you for having us here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Three年来，我们我跟我的团队也经过一百多个工厂来做，呃，有关劳工问题的调查、工研的培训、管理人员培训和工厂审核工作。跨公司有非常多的monitor过来检查，但是他们很难能发现问题，因为在他们到来之前
美在写字楼打了一份资料发给我们，发给我们给交工人、交下面的组长，教他们怎么说，上班时间有没有那个休息时间，有没有上厕所，可不可以随便上厕所，不可以上随便上厕所的，一个班就可以上两次厕所。已经，我本来是要三百块，那一份给我签的，主管拿给我签的那一份，我有五八百块，那是假的。开到，那个例外，这样的牌子的名牌了，一般一般的，反正都是祝祝你们美国的货率再涨百分之九十。今天呢，你假如你说你做厂里加班辛苦了，那个那个客户呢，他不会拿这么多货给你做，反正都是围围着这一这一家人搞，你是这样的，反正你老板都没有货了，我们职工呢都没有没有搞的了，就是这样的。因为客户肉，从我儿爸，他来看的时候是看产品的。质量好坏，履历、劳动量、好不关心，就是是要是又不好。有时候的支出就两百还是三百块钱。把两张卡，有一张卡呢，就是工人自己打的卡，专门来聘请那个保安来专门来打假卡。这个假卡呢，打半万打不下来，都是。反正都是为了应付，哎，反正你们可以就可以了。中国人国家的话，这个是按照这样的，按照这样子的话呢，是是主要的责任，就是你进入外面来做业务。这个呢是我主要就说，并不是为了我自己的利益，而是为了我所有的打工仔。Week one of my new life. I live on the fourth floor of the factory dorm. I have never seen the world from so high. There are 12 of us sharing the room. We have running water and a toilet just for us. But I do miss mom's cooking. It's not like this Cantonese food. They put no spices in it. I thought the factory would feed us, but it turns out they deduct the cost from our pay. There is no place to eat, so we carry the food up to our room. Everybody goes to the fabric cutter's room during lunch break because they all pitched in and bought a TV. But I like the girls' dorm better because it turns into a disco for 10 minutes. I've never been in a disco in my life. My roommate Li Ping says I must learn to use the break for chores. Otherwise, you do them after work during sleep time. Oh, 
大部分的女孩 ，most of the girls are younger than me. They all have fake ID cards to get a job. How much is it? The price for this one? Because uh, our competitors uh, are very aggressive. Yeah. Ça, ça c'est bon, ça aussi. Mm. This one, this for Australia, this label uh -huh. for America, uh -huh. this for Poland, this for Poland. The workers think factory owners spend their time in high-class nightclubs. Honestly, running a business is exhausting. Oui, souvent, euh, il y a une certaine connexion entre la qualité des fournisseurs et euh, les endroits euh, qu'ils connaissent ou nous emmènent au niveau des restaurants, de la convivialité, des choses comme ça. Il y a, il y a souvent une certaine similitude euh, entre la qualité de la relation qu'on peut tisser après avec et, et le sérieux dans le travail, dans le suivi, euh, euh, l'honnêteté aussi euh, dans les relations. Euh, C'est très important. Everyone's favorite meal is midnight snack because it's free. Also because it's only a couple hours before we're done. Mom and Dad would never believe we eat in the middle of the night. Even during rice harvest, we never work so long. Lipin says if we are working late at night, they should be paying us more, but they don't. To stay awake when I'm cutting threads, I let my imagination wander. I like to make up stories. My favorite one is about Shan Shan. The girl who journeys far, far away to train with a famous kung fu master. It's hard, but she learns to fly by the moonlight and use magic powers. She knows her sacrifice will be worth it because one day she will go home and help her family. Writing is like eating candy. It's a very happy experience for me. It's both about myself and not about myself. I like to get up early and fresh. When I started, people could not believe the police chief would spend his time with calligraphy. Now they do not believe a factory owner would do it. Calligraphy changes you. I am now a more patient and cultured person. When I show my scrolls to clients, 
They see we are a high-class operation. Their confidence in us increases. It is good for our corporate image. Writing calligraphy soothes your heart and soul. If I had the magic power of Xiangxiang, the girl from my story, I would just touch the ugly forehead of the supervisor, and she would freeze, forever staring out of her water buffalo eyes. I have to go to Shanghai. I need to talk business with a British customer. There is nothing worse than losing a customer and not have orders coming in. Meeting shipping deadlines is our number one concern. Now my big problem, delivery, because I, I know from before, uh, your delivery is very late. No, Mr. Ting said that uh, now the factory is still quite different from previous. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and also we enlarged the production line. Mm -hmm. The worker structure is 750 workers now. Right. No, late. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I, I'll, I think I'll be interested in doing uh, denim jeans and jacket sets. Mm -hmm. What's the price? What's the price? Yeah. What's the price? Yeah. 4.3 or 4.2? 4.3. 4.2. This is a very expensive one. You need to be near four dollars. Be honest with you. Honestly, Frank. Uh, four point one. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. For sure, it's the international retailers who make the big profits. Their profits is ten times what they pay for it. We run most of the risks, 
but have the smallest profits. Usually, I pay workers all together about one dollar for a pair of jeans. We make 200,000 pairs of jeans a month. If you calculate 20 cents a profit a pair, that is $40,000 US. That's pretty good. To get workers more motivated, we educate them through slogans. We shape their basic thinking, like Jesus did. Week 7. Guan Gong Shuo, the supervisor, said they will find anyone who is too slow. Still no pay, no time to write, only the work hours are getting longer. We were supposed to get paid by now, but the supervisors don't know anything about it. They only talk about this new big order that just came in. It's a rush job. Thank you. 
实话，就提到过那个劳动法呀。厂，那我们加班加这么久，我们是不是可以把厂告到劳动局去啊？你你加班加死了，劳动局不会管。他以前是我们这个社区工程局的局长嘛，只要像劳动局的话，你去告的话，那个人家打个电话去有什么搞定？简直不可思议！那公安局局长也能够开厂，难搞的一种课题。呃， The most difficult part of my job is managing people. The workers take advantage of us. For example, when they work overtime, we give them a free snack at midnight, right? But they inflate their production numbers to increase their pay. I told my workers, if you were the owner, if you were in my shoes, you would see things differently. The next night, we were all nodding away. So when the supervisor wasn't watching, some of us snuck out to get energy tea. It was my first time in the town. Li Ping knew where to get some tea for just half a yen. Yes, this morning, I found out those of us who left last night were marked down absent. They will find us 20 yen. It would take us two days to earn back that money. I hope I'm not getting sick. Until they pay us, I can't buy any medicine. If I can work, they will replace me. It's so cold. I sleep with all my clothes on. Leaping said that nearby workers went without pay for three months. 
And then the factory shut down on them. Maybe this is just a bad dream. When I wake up, I'll be back in school, going to classes, and playing with my friends. Guangdong BP, the supervisors are more nervous than usual because this order is behind schedule. I heard the bus yelled at them last night. They told the sewing department to come and help us finish. Li Pin and everyone else are so mad. In the police, we had to operate by the book. We could not step over the line, but in business, I'll do whatever I have to do to make money. The workers only want to feather their own nest. I know how they think. When I was police chief, we dealt with these migrant workers. Many of them break the law. When they see other people's nice things, they get jealous and want to take them. They would kill for a few dimes. After all the yelling, they finally agreed to pay us as soon as the order is out. Li Ping was right in the middle of all the yelling. She's only 14, but she isn't afraid to pull the tiger's whiskers. The boss wanted to know who started our protest, but no one volunteered any names. We finished at 3 p.m. the next day, and the wait sheet was finally posted. Somehow they found the money to pay us.
。你们他妈这里扣的太多了。那个姐姐扣了五十一块，多扣了五十块。哎，我的水电费他又是十块。他每个月有没有搞错？我扣我。你在这里啊？看来这这个多了，这个五十一呢？这三百一十八块。我话都等你嘛，系话要等两年，你又等话点啊？好吧，我怕你电话，哎呀，真系冇得做啦，嗯嗯，知啦。今日到处都是准备过年啦。我们十七号就要回去，十七号晚上可能。哇，我们回去耶！都没有听到那个车票。嗯，他也没有上车。穿衣装要多少钱？啊？真的穿衣服装，三块。Lipin said, let's have our photos taken. She can show them to her family. It was her last night before going home. This is my first year away from home. Tomorrow, Dad will take the rice next door to grind for Mom to make sticky rice cakes. Number two, Uncle for sure will get drunk. Mom made me a new dress like every year, but I'm not there to get it. After New Year, everybody returned from their home visits. 
But the best thing was that I finally got paid. After deductions for room and board and paying all my debts, I still have a little left to send my parents. The workload is now easier. We even had time to go to the night market. Sometimes I wonder where all the jeans I worked on are going. The people buying them are they girls and boys my age? Do they have any idea who the people are making their clothes? Hi, friend. Hello from China. My name is Jasmine. I'm from Sichuan. Do you like Sichuan food? I left home four months ago. I miss my mom and dad and my kitty. My friends and I made these jeans for you. Leaping made the back pockets. Orchid installed the zipper. And I cut the loose thread. They said we are very lucky to be able to work in the factory. I'm just happy I can help my sister through high school. You can write me to dorm room number 408, Leafen Factory, Sashi, China. What is that order from America? Warm up. Warm up. Visit the Independent Lens website and go behind the scenes of a Chinese jeans factory. Share your thoughts and talk back online at pbs.org. 
Next time on Independent Lens. Coffee is big business all over the world. But in Africa, where the bean began, only pennies make it back to the struggling farmers. Now a movement is organizing to get growers a fair trade in the global economy, where consumer choice can make all the difference. Black gold on the next Independent Lens.